You've got the productivity bug and want to start digitizing your forms. Hey, I'm John from Westway IT, and this is our comparison on Microsoft Forms versus Jot Form. Now, first off, I use both of these solutions. They solve different problems for me. Microsoft Forms is included with a lot of the Microsoft 365 licenses. It's a relatively basic form system. Jot Form, meanwhile, is a separate paid for solution with different tiers, which can do more. What can they both do? Well, they can both create forms with text boxes, choices, ranking, pages, and branching logic. You know, where you jump to different questions based on your previous answers. Where do they differ? The biggest difference for most people is the range of questions. Microsoft Forms only has a small choice, while Jot Forms has many built in and even more with integrations like payment solutions. Another difference is what happens when your form is submitted. Microsoft Forms can send you an email to say you have a submission. That's it. JotForm meanwhile allows you to have a copy of the submission including the answers emailed to you and you can opt to have a PDF copy of the completed form as well. This certainly puts JotForm ahead when you need to action each form submission. It is possible to do this with Microsoft Forms, however you need to create a Power Automate flow and template it all out. It's not out the box. Both do allow you to review results of your forms. JotForm does this with a table layout where you can select to dive deeper into individual submissions. Microsoft Forms gives you a summary view with charts and then you can click through the individual submissions. However, you can't quickly see which one you want to go to. It's just numbered. If you do want the table view in Microsoft Forms, you will need to download the Excel spreadsheet and open that up. Unfortunately, you have to download it each time you want it. One feature Microsoft Forms has that JotForm doesn't is the presentation view, allowing for live audience interaction via a QR code. They scan it and you can see the results on the screen behind you. Both are good to use on computers and mobiles to fill out forms. You can send somebody a link to your form. Both allow you to embed your form in your website However, I feel JotForm looks a little better here with more branding options allowing it to fit into your site style more. My overall winner is JotForm. However, as I opened with, I use both. If you've enjoyed this video, here's another we think you might like. I'm John and I'll see you next time.